Buffalo Ridge Refuge for our wounded soldier uh, deer hunt. <laughs> We want it to be, you know, the ultimate deer camp getaway for these people, you know. We don't want to put any pressure on them, but we have a partnership with Hero Hunt Inc. Um, Joe Tower's a great guy, and he uh, helps find the individuals to come on these wounded soldier hunts that we have. Hero Hunt Inc. Um, was set up in 2012. We take out our injured military police, fire, first responders on outing events or out, outdoor events like uh, hunting and fishing and, and outdoor activities. It's primarily designed to get these guys and girls who've been injured in line of duty back out into um, events and doing things that they may didn't think they could have done again, or get them involved in some things with some like-minded people who have been in some similar situations. Probably the biggest hurdle today was the weather. You know, there's a lot of things we can control, but Mother Nature is not one of them. It rained a little while this morning, but you know, actually it kind of broke there about eight o'clock or so, and ended up the deer moved pretty well and had some successful hunters. Yeah, I didn't have any. I didn't grow up hunting. Uh, first time, like I said, the first time I went hunting was because of this uh, group, and don't didn't know the first thing about hunting. So I still don't know that much, but I'm figuring it out. Top of the hill. Five point. Dang. It's up to you. What do you think? It's up to you. all the way from South Dakota. Killed a Tennessee deer today. <laughs> nice job, Yeah, Dave. appreciate it. Oh, I didn't wait. Uh, the wind was blowing, the rain was coming, and took advantage of the first bucket that came out. And uh, after that, still had deer coming in. Uh, got some good video of it, eight point, chasing some does and hanging out with some does. Saw nine does this morning, a six point, eight point, killed a seven point, and saw a couple spikes. Action all morning. The hunt is a passion of mine, and serving and helping these folks was a passion of mine. The hunt was just an excuse, in my mind, doing something I enjoy doing to bring everybody together in, in a like-minded environment. The first hunt we did in 2012, we had about 15 people that first year. This year, in 2018, we've had about 150 150, 155 hot slots on hunts or fishing events. If, if it wasn't for the partnerships, our resources and what we can provide to uh, these injured military police, fire and first responders would be much smaller because we actually started this on a 50 acre farm, our, our family farm, but we've grown. <clears throat> so we're here, we're sitting here on 1900 acres right now with Tennessee Wildlife Resources. And that partnership alone just just what we've done with TWRA this year uh, on just the deer hunts, let's say it's 25, 50, that's 65, 70 people we've been able to bring out on just the three the deer hunts we're doing with. And these partnerships are vital to what we're doing. You almost, it's almost like you already know everybody. Even though you've never met them before, you, you know, your histories are so similar, your experiences are so similar, it's really easy to just be friends before you even became friends. You know, it's 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 good. It's really good. Some of the soldiers, you know, are want to talk all about everything, and other ones are a little more reserved. And then I think it's a healing process for these guys. I love it. So it's my uh, time to get away, hang out with people, same mindset, you know, same type of people, talking about deer, talking about guns, talking about um, just being outside and 
other people from uh, kind of relate to. We get as much of an honor being a part too to you know volunteer to help out these men and women and they've done everything for us so we can live the way that we do. I'm a vet and I'm a police officer. I'm a 23, 23 year police officer in Metro Nashville. I'm still on the job. There's a high suicide rate on these guys or girls coming back. Um, you know, they get into these depressed states and whatever, and it's important to me because we're trying to save some lives through what we're doing and what we're, what we're able to provide. One of the things we always say, it's not about the hunt or the harvest, it's about healing.